Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to reveal some Hell's Kitchen facts you might not have known about. So, sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content, guys. Video Game A common occurrence in our capitalist society is to milk ideas dry until they can't be used any longer. If you haven't noticed, we're certainly very familiar with that. Anyway, in the case of large production companies, they'll often make merchandise to continue profiting off of their brand. Sometimes you might even see a video game rendition of a show you watch since the gaming industry is extremely profitable. Hell's Kitchen isn't an exception to this since Ubisoft decided to turn the popular show into a video game. Released in 2008, those who decided to grab a copy were able to play it on PC, Nintendo DS, or Wii. While most TV show games are based on things that translate well into the medium, such as heading into warfare or fighting monsters, being screamed at by Gordon Ramsay isn't exactly the most exciting concept. As described on the game's Amazon page, just like the contestants on the TV show, players must master all aspects of cooking, preparation, cooking, and service. Upon opening the game, players have the choice between two game modes being career and arcade. In the career mode, you'll build up a one-star restaurant to a luxurious five-star establishment, all the while Ramsay stares into your soul and scrutinizes your every move. This is where you masochists will get the pleasure of being reprimanded by the world's most famous Scottish man. If you're not into that kind of stuff, the arcade mode is more laid back since you get to cook without any expectations and just have fun with it. Truly, it's not much of a surprise that this game wasn't well received, with many major review sites giving it a negative review. According to IGN, the game is devoid of any fun, but does provide some challenging gameplay aside from being extremely repetitive. Many were also disappointed with the fact that Ramsay's classic crude way of speaking wasn't included in the game. There were far too few voice lines that the famous chef actually acted out, so things grew dull very quickly. Assuming you still want to play it regardless, your best bet is to buy it on PC since the console versions are harder to obtain. Therapy Session Nothing hurts more than failing to win a competition, especially if it's something you're really passionate about. Pile on the fact that your failure would be broadcasted to millions of people on shows like Hell's Kitchen, and it can be really detrimental to one's mental health. Thankfully, it seems like the production team understands this very well since they've set some safety nets for those who are booted from the competition. According to someone who's worked on set, they revealed that those who are kicked from the show are immediately sent off to a therapist. Aside from the crushing feeling of loss in a prestigious competition, they're mentally broken down by Gordon Ramsay's words and forced to go through punishments along the way. In fact, it's so stressful that in the second season, while they started off with only 4 smokers in the cast, this number rose to 10 since many didn't know how to cope with the pressure. Therefore, it's extremely important that they give these people a proper psychiatric evaluation to confirm that they aren't in any danger to themselves or possibly even others. The same person who revealed this interesting info admitted that the show can sometimes be draining to certain contestants. That's why, to keep some people from trying to take their own life, someone else's, or even do both, the producers send them off to rehab. On top of talking to a trained professional, contestants are sent to a large and beautiful home in a remote location to decompress. After being treated to a spa-like experience, they're sent back into the real world, hopefully feeling a lot better. At the very least, you can look forward to having a relaxing time after the competition if you end up failing. We're glad to know that they handle their cooks in a humane way. No guarantee. What draws so many people in to compete on Hell's Kitchen is not only the widespread recognition, but the life-changing prizes you receive if you prevail. Contestants are promised to get a high-ranking position at a 5-star restaurant alongside $250,000 for a salary, which is something most chefs don't get an opportunity to do. However, contrary to anyone's expectations, those who win aren't always guaranteed to get what they deserve. In the case of Season 7 winner Holly Ugold, she unexpectedly didn't receive the head chef position she was promised. This sparked quite a bit of controversy amongst the fans, but some very interesting information arose after people did some digging. Instead of getting the top job at Savoy Grill in London, Ugald received the title of Celebrity Signature Chef at a restaurant in Fort Lauderdale. Supposedly, Ugald wasn't able to obtain a work visa from the local government, which Ramsay couldn't do anything about, so they improvised something else instead. While she wouldn't be getting the position she was promised, Ugald would be working very closely with the official head chef, Andy Cook, who is exceptionally talented. Although in some cases where the contestants didn't run into any complications, they still didn't get what they were advertised. Like Heather West, who was awarded with the prestigious position of an executive chef at a brand new fine dining restaurant in Las Vegas. What she ended up getting instead was a job as a senior chef and was working under a man named Renato De Piro. Sounds pretty outrageous when you're promised something and don't get it, right? Well, we all know that reality shows are often faked, so it shouldn't come to much of a surprise. It's standard in the job world to give high-ranking positions to those who are the most qualified, and it's not always going to be a Hell's Kitchen winner. Truly speaking, contestants are given a chance at becoming an executive chef at a high-end restaurant, but will sometimes have to work their way up to it. Though, regardless of this fact, most winners end up having successful careers, making this a trivial matter. Obviously, it's still disappointing though. Getting Physical One of the most entertaining things to witness on reality television is when two or more people get into a heated argument. 
Oftentimes, these could lead to physical violence, and while viewers certainly know these situations are bad, they're just so much fun to watch. That's one of the main reasons why Ramsey has so much appeal in the reality TV realm, because he stirs up a lot of drama. Not only does he seem very tough, but he's brave enough to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with just about anyone. This isn't always the best quality, however, since some may try to fight back, such as contestants like Joseph Tinley. In a now infamous season 6 episode, after Ramsey spoke very aggressively to Tinley during the deliberations, he pissed him off so much to the point that he was threatening him. Saying things like, let's go outside and you want to talk about fighting, the angry chef was very close to assaulting Ramsey. Although what many might not know is that the Hell's Kitchen host has a bunch of bodyguards watching him behind the scenes. Contestant Robert Hesse described these guards to be a few Shug Knight looking guys wanting to break some necks. Though as we certainly illustrated in the last entry, reality shows aren't exactly what they seem and fights like this one are all fabricated for the camera. Assuming a contestant genuinely thought they could hit Ramsey, they would be tackled onto the ground before they could even swing. There are so many bodyguards at different angles who are ready to pounce on anyone who's dumb enough to attack the host. We don't doubt that it would be TV gold to watch Ramsey and some random chef duke things out for everyone to watch, but it's not gonna happen. It's understandable though, since Fox doesn't want it to go any farther than threats of violence since it could put their valuable asset in danger. Kitchen Drama In normal circumstances, if you head into a restaurant hoping to have a lovely meal with your family and you hear loud arguing coming from the kitchen, you're sure to never come back. However, in the case of people who attend Hell's Kitchen dinner services, this kind of behavior is expected. In fact, according to contestant Robert Hesse, the patrons aren't bothered by this display, but rather deeply enjoy it. See, to them, it's almost like they're dining at a theater, watching the juicy drama unfold before their very eyes. Not only do they get to see Gordon Ramsay dog on the other contestants, but even witness drama between the cooks themselves. Hesse also pointed out that the diners also want their 5 seconds of fame by briefly appearing on the show. Who wouldn't want to be on TV? As a famous artist Andy Warhol once pointed out, in the future everyone would get 15 minutes of fame, and we have to agree with that. At this point in time, people are so desperate that they'll go out of their way to even get a few seconds of fame. Anyway, if you had the opportunity to see Ramsay scream at a bunch of incompetent chefs, would you try to leave or get a closer look? We'd personally choose the latter. Contestant Applications As a last little entry, we're going to discuss an aspect of the show that many don't really consider being the application process. According to contestant Ariel Malone, the producers make you fill out a form, they put you on camera for an interview. Generally speaking, they'll ask questions that will give them an idea of the contestant's personality since that's what the viewers invest in the most. Truly speaking, they could care less about how good at cooking you are and more about how funny, nice, or aggressive you can be. Just like everything else in showbiz, you need to be able to hook people in or you're not fit to be in front of an audience. Since the show has been on for so long and people could predict what they're looking for, producers even try to trick applicants to see how they'll react. Like how Malone was told that they would go out to eat, getting all dressed up, and was instead brought on a plane and flown out to cook a dish somewhere. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys.